What's up guys, welcome back to Classic Octane. I am Taylor. Today we are out working in the garage. We are on the Barn to Brat project today. I'm going to try for hopefully the last time to get these darn dents out. Before we get started, I want to talk about a little score I got from uh, an estate sale yesterday. So, went to um, an estate sale with my wife and ended up going in the garage and finding a whole bunch of these bins of nuts and bolts and pulleys and, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I thought, man, that's like somebody collected that over years um, to get all that stuff together. And I offered them 10 bucks for the whole thing and they took it. So. Um, it's in the process of basically right now I have like a couple of random like Tupperware containers full of nuts and bolts and I really am dying to get this place more organized. So I went on Amazon and I bought this um, thread checker. So if you've ever been to a hardware store and brought you know nuts and bolts with you so that you can use their thread checker to figure out if it's like a six by 32 or quarter 20 or whatever, um, I decided I wanted one of those myself. So I bought one of these, I'm gonna mount it on the wall. Um, and then I can actually take all of my hardware and organize it by size. So uh, here's all my M6 bolts and my M10s and my quarter 20s. And I don't know, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, at the same uh, state sale, I bought this metal cabinet. Um, so I'm gonna use this to actually put a bunch of drawers and stuff in it uh, to organize all the hardware. So this will be my old school hardware uh, organizational cabinet which I thought was pretty cool so let's get to work on these dents so if this is your first time uh, watching you uh, probably haven't seen me fight with these dents um, but basically I have these two dents the biggest one I'm concerned about is obviously the the biggest dent there is a small kind of golf ball size one over here as well um, I've tried putting inner tubes and these like air inflatable um, little shims I think yeah inflatable shim to like locksmiths use them and stuff to try and push the dent out from the inside I tried freezing the whole darn thing um, and I have had zero success um, so I figured hell I know how to weld and stuff so I'm gonna go to drastic measures and I am actually going to cut this whole bottom section out of the gas tank so that we can actually get in there and work it from underneath uh, what I'm not sure is how easily I'm gonna be able to actually push the dent out and make it look good once I'm in there. I'm not a body guy, um, but I've kind of tried everything else and I could take it to a PDR guy, but I would rather just figure it out myself. And if I ruin it, you know, that stinks, but uh, hopefully we'll learn something in the process. So I got some uh, fresh cut off wheels and I'm gonna go in here and probably mark it out with a permanent marker just to try and keep myself on a straight line and not kind of wander off too much but I'm gonna cut out as much as I can uh, in spaces that is gonna be pretty easy for me to uh, take weld it back together. Let's do it. Well, there you go. Sorry for the wind noise, I have my fan on. It's uh over 100 degrees here in Texas so if I turn the fan off I'm pretty sure I'll die in about 8 to 10 seconds so apologize for that again but cut this off could have done a better job but I think it'll be just fine uh, right now and you can see there's a little bit of surface stress in there um, from when we totally froze it so I'm gonna want to treat the whole inside of this anyway which um, I'll probably treat with like a evapo rust or something like that and then do a um, uh, POR 15 tank sealer afterwards so that'll help with any uh, pinhole um, you know leaks that we may have created when we weld this back together um, but now I'm going to take my little angle grinder with a little sanding disc and just clean up all the super sharp burrs uh, also clean up the paint around the outside to prepare for welding later and then we'll get to work trying to push on this dent and see if we can make any progress on this darn thing Got all the edges cleaned up um, so that it'll be, you know, relatively easy for us to weld it back in. I'm probably gonna need to actually heat this up, but I kinda wanna just see 
what's possible. Holy shit, that is. No wonder we had a hard time. Okay, so that creases. Really gonna be an issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the heat gun. We can get it nice and hot. Um, I also want to mess around with uh, maybe like a flat piece of wood or something on the inside and then maybe like clamp it. I don't know. I'm going to try a couple of different things. I'll probably just throw a time lapse up because I don't know what's going to work and what's not. But I'll, uh, like I said, I'll throw a time lapse and then I'll bring you guys back if I find something that is at least getting us in the right direction. about that got a little carried away before I brought you guys back but uh, I was able to heat it up kind of hammer it out and then I've been using my hammer and dolly to uh, try and get it as smooth as possible it's never gonna be perfect um, but you know this tank has lots of marks and dings and stuff all over the place anyway I just didn't like the huge dent that was in it um, back here is a little bit worse. Uh, it's got some like pretty bad little like I'm gonna call them ping marks from the little hammer inside just because I had to use the uh, you know kind of pointed hammer to get into this back little crease because there's only like that much room so you can't get a bigger hammer so I had to use a smaller one which led to leaving these marks. So I'm going to try and use the hammer and dolly again back here if I can to try and get some of these marks out. It's never going to be perfect, um, but it's already since that big dent has gone way better than it was. Um, I wish we wouldn't have tried to use the hot glue <laughs> pullers and pulled some of the original sticker off, but again, it's way better than it was. So that was the trick. You only have to cut a huge hole in the bottom and hammer and dolly for 20 minutes to uh, get the dent out. So I'm going to keep working a little bit. I'll, get, I'll uh, bring you guys back. When the hammer and dolly part's done, uh, we'll bust out the welder and see if we can't weld the bottom of this thing back on. So I got a little bit carried away uh, welding on it, but I wanted to uh, show you. I got it welded back in. It's super duper thin, so it's a real kind of pain because it's super easy to blow through. So I kind of have to like stitch weld it and stitch weld around a whole bunch and then grind it down. And then you can see we still get like little pinholes and I got to go back and weld over that. and. It's going to be a lot of kind of tedious uh, finish work to get it all done. Um, for the most part, it's you know back together, and it'll take me maybe another 20 or 30 minutes with a grinder and you know flap disc and you know tack welds here and there to uh, to fix it up. But the main dent is out, as you can see, a little dirty. Um, definitely see some hammer marks and stuff, but with the condition of the rest of the tank, I'm really not too worried about it. Um, you know, the average person, if they walk up on it, they probably wouldn't pick that out. So I'm happy with that. Um, so, yeah. Not too bad. I'm uh, excited to uh, no longer work on this dent because, as you guys know, I've been working on it and dealing with it for a long time. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. It's getting a little bit late. I don't want to be grinding and stuff. Uh, my neighbors probably already think I make too much noise as it is. Um, so we're going to cut this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed finally watching me get those dents out. Uh, we did have to go to, you know, pretty extreme measures, but that's kind of what it takes. That's the fun of it. Um, so now that that's going to be finished, by the time the next video goes up, we'll probably do electronic ignition, something like that. Who knows what we'll get into. Um, I may or may not miss next Monday just because uh, I'm going to Georgia for the 4th of July with my family. So I might make a video while I'm there. I might, you know, we'll see. So I'm going to try to make a, as many videos as I can for you guys. I appreciate you sticking around. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like this video um, and I'll see you guys super soon.